hello everybody welcome back to my channel today we are going to be looking at two very specific questions we're going to look at how the queen felt about megan as a person not the situation as a person and we're going to ask how the megan felt about the queen as a person not the situation just as a person the vibe off each other so we're going to look into that um, because there's been more rumours and gossip about their relationship and the Queen thought she was a bit of a social climber um, and some other unpleasant things, but we shall, we shall see what the cards have to say about that. Um, yeah. So before we begin, thank you very much for being here. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like and comment. If you've been around for a while and you've subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate you guys being here. We're running a competition at the minute. Um, it's open for everyone until probably around the thirtieth. If you leave a comment, if you leave a comment and a pumpkin emoji on any of my videos from October, you'll be entered in a prize draw to win one of three copies of Valentine Lowe's Courtiers book. Um, it's not the giveaway is not associated with Valentine Lowe, the publishers or YouTube, but it's just me giving away something because I I know, um, that it's not yet published in some other countries. Uh. It's open worldwide, but obviously we can't ship to some countries at the minute with war, sanctions, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, so there's that as well. And we also have an emotional support coven, which is channel memberships for two ninety nine British pounds a month. You are getting some extra content um, in the comment section. I do... Um, some extra videos and little bits as well um, so yeah there is good, the emotional support coven is there if you want to be a common channel member that's really cool um, and I do appreciate all you guys who have joined it's really lovely thank you so much I'm really honoured thank you um, so without with saying all of that my social media is down below in the description box and we're going to get on to it with it okay so what did the Queen feel about um, Megan, what was the real tea? Show us, tell us, see what the cards have to say. Okay, she thought she wanted to be a rich, affluent woman she thought she wanted to be gracious and showing off um she thought she was more about the status than the money and money status and money is straight away there but what was crossing the relationship grief and loss okay That's interesting. Let's have a look at the bullet. Sneaky behaviour on Joan. Oh, wow. Okay. So straight away, she thinks she is a um, wanting to be affluent, wanting to show off, wanting to be very well put together, money, glamour, um, but when we have loss that's crossing her about this relationship and she does feel a sense of loss with it and she does feel like there has been some sneaky behavior it has been shown to her she knew about some she knew about some bad behavior queen of pentacles underneath She knew, this is where Catherine comes in, the Queen knew about Meghan's behaviour. What she hoped her to be was this affluent woman, but she's feeling a sense of loss and some sneaky behaviour surrounding that Nine of Pentacles, which to me shows that she knew she was somebody who was a socially, trying to socially climb, maybe um, because we've got, this, we've got the swords there, we've got the five of swords there, taking things that are not meant to be taken, 
um, underhanded behaviour, almost gaslighting, and this sense of loss. So she really, it wasn't a comfortable relationship for her. She found her difficult. And it's stuff to do with Catherine, Princess of Wales, where it may have well been something to do with um, the run-up to the wedding or something, and that really kind of changed her opinion on her. This is my Four of Cups is my, when I look at it, it's the, um, to me, it's a card of tantrums, not show, crying about spilt milk, knocking over the milk yourself, not being petty, petty behaviour, not taking what's offered. She really wanted Charles to deal with it. She didn't necessarily want a kind of closeness to them. She did want Charles to deal with it. She didn't, couldn't be bothered to deal with it. And Camilla, she wanted Camilla to deal with it as well. She really thought that she was trying to be the new Princess Diana. That's what she thought she was. She didn't think she was a team player. She thought she was trying to be the Princess Diana. And Harry was surrounding it. And she really thought... Yeah, she thought Harry enabled the behaviour, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, of course. And the Two of Cups. She really thought there was a troubled union. She didn't think they were going to get on well. She didn't think it was going to necessarily last. She thought it was messy. And she also thought there was this kind of like split in relationships, and that could be familiar relationships as well as romantic chariot in reverse so yeah she really thinks they're out of control they don't know which way to go um and she's this issues with kate that really changed she thought there were petty behaviors and then she realizes this lady has aspirations of wanting to be something grand and there's this loss the sense of loss of opportunity seeing this behavior being messed around seeing things not working out well and then we have the emperor she was really focusing thinking oh charles will sort it out here we have princess diana and king harry king harry the king of pentacles prince harry um, he is surrounding her. They're very. She sees them as very much together and enabling each other's behaviour, and driving this whole Princess Diana narrative. She did feel that Meghan wanted to be the new Princess Diana. Um, the Two of Cups really dis shows that there's disharmony, and she knew there was going to be disharmony within relationships, personal relationships, and that goes for family because she sees her family as personal as well as the crown. And then we have the chariot in reverse. They didn't really know what they wanted. She felt confused by their approach. She didn't understand which way they were going. They seemed to go this way and that way. The chariot in reverse comes up a lot for Meghan and Harry. So I think in the end, she really just did not understand what Meghan wanted. She just did not understand where she went to go with it. She wants Charles to sort it out and she just feels like... They're feeding into this Princess Diana thing. They're really wanting to be Princess Diana. Something happened with Kate that made... She already thought they were petty, but after that, she thought it was worse. And she felt a sense of loss with it as well. And it's almost like she doesn't want to deal with it because she's in straight away, she's saying, I want King Charles to sort it out. I wanted King Charles to sort it out. And then we have what they're surrounding them which is the queen of cups and the king of pentacles which is princess diana or camilla and when we're talking about megan i really don't think megan looked into camilla other than as a scapegoat for stuff i do think that the queen of cups here represents her aspiration the queen the queen's thought was her aspirations to be princess diana and we have surrounded and enabled by the king of pentacles which will be harry she really thought harry was enabling her 
Um, she sees this harmony. She was worried about this harmony and she's worried about them splitting up as well. And she was confused by the behaviour, almost overly aggressive behaviour, overly assertive behaviour. Um, yeah, so uh, she did see her allegedly like that. And how did um, Megan see the Queen? This was a fixation for her, the Queen's relationship. Because we have the moon there, it shows there's an imbalance and a un... a misunderstanding of the relationship. Part of her paranoia is based around this relationship. She was very paranoid. She was fixated on it. What was crossing her? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So she wanted things from there. She wanted things to start with her. But it fell flat. It wasn't as successful as a relationship as she wanted it to be. She didn't get the full benefits of what she thinks she could have got from the Queen's relationship. Yeah, she's completely focused on the Queen because here we have the Queen there. Um, and the moon underneath, she was completely focused on the Queen. She's one of the triggers in the whole... Um, relationship with the queen of pentacles here i think that's why catherine got such a target on her back from megan was because the relationship with the queen maybe the queen's had words about the behavior and the lead up to the wedding and it's not been received well There we have the Four of Cups. What's underneath it? There's the Four of Cups as well. So that pettiness, that spitefulness, that um, not reciprocating when you're being offered something, the um, temper tantrum, the toddler moment, really kind of put a this definitely put a wedge into their relationship. I think the Queen was trying to be good, but she did. That's what tipped her over into seeing her for being a bit of a cruel social climber. Six of Pentacles there. What's leaving the situation? She was trying her best to be this um, saintly figure, as you can see the, the lounger there, and be this person who was very giving and charitable and generous with their time. They gave to people who were less fortunate than them. She wanted to really project that, which is definitely the Princess Diana card. And she was really trying with that, but the Queen's just like, no, I see how you behaved. No one really behaves like that. That's that coming up. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles um, in reverse. So she became very impatient around the Queen and the relationship. She really didn't feel like um, the relationship had developed 
<clears throat> how she wanted it. She was going to, there's definitely a feeling of wanting to use this relationship as some kind of success. She's fixated on it. I don't necessarily see this as like an emotional, like, fixation. This is something to do with ego. We've got a lot of pentacles coming up, which is also to do with money and status. And here we have the Ten of Pentacles. And she really... <clears throat> Once this happened, the Four of Cups, and she started, like, because Kate's come up for the Queen because there's something to do with Kate that made the Queen realise how... Catherine, sorry. Uh, how this behaviour more intensely... She wised up to more, but she was, it looks like she was kind of unsure and thought they were ungiving, but then she's just went. Through. This is where, because Egan's trying to come off as Princess Diana 2.0, the Ten of Pentacles, this is causing damage within the family to different family dynamics and family relationships. And it gives Megan a negative opinion around that family. Now, the Ten of Pentacles upright is a wealthy family. And that's what's happening. There is cracks starting to show within the family structure. And she wanted to start something new. She wanted to be in charge. She was always wanting to start new things. That kind of didn't work out. So she's getting annoyed, getting angry. We all know what happened. Megs, it happens because obviously this relationship is in the past. Um, Five of Pentacles, what they're worried about. The Queen was worried about a familial split. They're worried about getting cut out. And strength in reverse. So there was problems with the family that came about from the Queen Girl. Oh, she just wants to be Princess Diana 2.0. And there's a problem that comes from that within the family where she wanted to be star of the stage. What was surrounding her at the time is um, a new start. She wanted to be, have more of a creative direction. She wanted to be more in control. But is corrupted because it's in reverse so the ones isn't landing well on her on her path the five of pentacles what she's worried about was being cut off from the queen separated from the queen uh, and not have that contact so they try to remain in contact with them and they're feeling a little bit weaker i do feel right they their relationship with the queen was not as well as it should have been or, or her should have been because in her mind because of their behavior but she doesn't realize that she thinks it's because they are in a weakened position within the family but they don't see how and they'll probably blame other people um with the chariot in reverse there and strength in reverse it just shows how kind of out of control and not sure of what they wanted to be the queen was very unsure of why she wanted to do different things it really conflicted her she was getting told one thing one day and then another thing the next um with the strength in reverse there for megan she didn't feel like her relationship was stronger as it as strong as it should be she tried to kind of scurry around it and make it try and make it look and appear strength stronger than it probably was um there's a lot of ego tied up in it here she the queen did think she was kind of a social climber um and that she was petty and she wanted to be princess diana 2.0 and um megan saw was a little bit fixated on her she was one of the people who she had like a um link into if you want to say like a hook in um but i don't think the, the hook was not reciprocated but she, megan was a little bit obsessed by her but more obsessed by gain from it from the relationship because after she satisfied that she was princess diana 2.0 she will then want to be the Queen 2.0, basically. 
there we go so let me know what you guys think um is there any cards you'd like to add to is there any readings you'd like me to do um please like subscribe share and comment thank you so much for being here and i shall see you in the next one bye everyone